ahora lo voy a decir igual. No. Who you running for? You have to avoid me, son, or? You know she gone? Anyway. Night, night. Hello. Bless. Love. The Trinidad and Tobago Police motto says to protect and serve. That alone alone is fucking comedy. A few months ago, let me go into months ago. Some three people died. Brutally murdered, shot. It is alleged because I hear nobody get arrested for that murder yet. You? The, the, the triple murder the other day in Navanti. A picture inside it. I ain't hear nobody get arrested for that. You? There was a triple murder and they say it's a police shoot. And again, the allegation is that in reprisal for that shooting, the triple murder, um, they shoot up Bessel Street Police Station. Now, coming out of that incident, some days later, the opposition leader, Rowley, is walking through, Lavanti on a walkabout, and a man come and hand him a bag of spent shells. They destroy that in the media. For your return? Right. So, that means that on a crime scene, there were visible, tangible, physical, spent shells ably collected by residents of the area. When questioned, the police say that they needed to get protection and security to go in to the crime scene. Now, TNT and all and sundry that listening, how is it possible Cause I try to understand how police looking to get security to go into a crime scene. Cause the police not supposed to secure we. So who securing them? Cause I want them secure we. It sounds a little confusing. But in reprisal for that, as I say, they shoot up Bessel Street Police Station. But that is again it's a story because the front of Bessel Street Police Station is only glass. Full glass. And of course, burglar proofing in front of it. But there was no shattered glass. May I see no debris. May I see no splinters. No broken bottle, nothing. And no spent shells outside Bessel Street Police Station. So what sto which story is believable? Which story? Holy water. To this date, no one has been charged for the triple murder. And I dare say, because it, the Trinidadian memory is so short, the nine days up, so we forget that. The police in this country the Lord know my heart. We have good police, we have bad police. But somehow or the other, the bad police outweigh the good. No, so Rounding up the year 20. 14 there is footage taped by i believe a child a 17 year old boy a teenager of a paraple paraplegic a man wheelchair bound being slapped by another policeman they would slap him up a tall well, be strapping, able bodied. I think they say it's a special police, special reserve police, the SRP. And then you see another female police officer now wheeling him down the road. The brutality was evident a day. And you're hearing it. I mean, look at the video. <laughs> I get slap, I thought I get slap, you know. That's for a slap he get. Send he into 
2017, you know. I thought I on the journey with you. I flinched at every stop. When the SRP take, when the female officer take him and say, you more mad than me, you're playing mad. I'm going to show you mad. I'm going to really cut down the road. And the man was like, hey, 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 hey. I said, what the fuck are you watching here? Now, this is being taped. And the angle and the distance of the recording means that the person who is taping right there in full view. So, all you didn't care that it being taped. As we speak, I believe they appeared in a San Fernando magistrate's court. They were charged and have been stripped. But there must be also due process. They've been stripped of their titles or whatever, but an investigation has to be launched properly. We are no proper, proper chain again. What is the proper procedure to deal with these facts? Because I always, you know, a bunch of hot air blowing that angry for no reason. To add insult to injury, when you try to investigate and find out the Tory story about the man now, the paraplegic, he is a head case by itself. His name is Bobby or Robbie Ram, Ch Ram, Ch Ch Ram Charita. So Mr. Ram Charita is living on the charity of the Trinidad and Tobago taxpayer because as far as I understand, he living in San Fernando General Hospital. How the fuck are you living in the hospital? No, I am serious. Let me, let me, let me get the express. I want the story properly. So that they say I make it up. Because they sent him to the St. Anne's Psychiatric Ward Medical Complex for psychiatric evaluation. And the saint and the, the doctors and nurses and saint and send him back. The health minister, the person that paying the doctors, the health minister, the leader of the brigade, send authorize this man to be sent to Saint Anne's facility. And Saint Anne said they can't take it and sent him back to San Fernando General. So who leading who here? From what I understand, according to this article in the Express, they say that, hold on, let me get it properly. They say that he has been at the San Fernando Hospital for months and his behavior is a nuisance to the nurses and the patients. They neglect to mention the police, but all right. He goes in and out. <coughs> He drinks and returns to the hospital and his behavior is so disturbing. He is unmanageable at times. When the alcohol is in the blood system, his behavior is somewhat unacceptable. Now, all of this is supporting the police case. That the man spit on them, as so, so I hear, and Ram Charita was very abusive and cussing. Now, police aside, normal citizen if i walking down the road and a man in a wheelchair decide to cuss and spit on me or kick in any way or hit me then he must face the consequences for the action come here taking spit wheelchair no fucking wheelchair learn to push that shit your mouth good enough to spit make sure your hand good enough to cut your cunt far from me but I'm trying to understand the police role, the line has been blurred. Because aside from being human and citizen, you are now oh, an official, you're in an official capacity. So you're supposed to maintain an order. How you wheel the man away from you down a hill where your compassion, where your sense that I am now in a greater position than this individual for establishing order. I don't, I don't understand the female police comes. She wheeled the man down a hill, you know. San Fernando is only here. It's a fucking hill. She pushed the man. 
Watch that again. Watch it again. Watch it again. Bring it back up. Is she really? Is that inclined? Is that inclined? And end up in a hey 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 down the road. What the hell? But trying to understand where this man from, where he living. You can't be living in San Fernando General Hospital. Where's his family? We have a long, long, disturbing history of people just dumping the parents, the relatives, even the children in the hospital, you know. Years ago, when I used to be a part of girl guides and thing, you know, them days. I used to be a girl guides. How you mean? I nearly was in scouts. Long story. Um every carnival we had instances where mothers who ain't had nobody to babysit the children and they had to play the mass used to go and drop off the children carnival sunday and say the child ain't well and they are all kind of symptoms i'm telling you we brighten this place called tnt and leave the child monday tuesday and then wednesday appear and say so how are we feeling now and pick back up the children you know? I wouldn't even know where I can and I should have. However, this incident needs proper procedure because guess what? Two years from now, we go hear that them two police officers getting paid at 1.2 million each or 2.1 something million for wrongful dismissal. Even though the evidence that they are brutal bitches with no level of compassion. But the police of themselves need a complete clean up that whole corrupted system. Because there's also footage, and if we could find the video of earlier in the year, where a man, a raster man, was slapped repeatedly. You remember that slap? Straight through a fucking Corolla. That man spin like he in the nutcracker. <laughs> First I slap spin he I tell you real Tchaikovsky thing. Even though it made news, the man in question, the slappy, was still charged and appeared in a magistrate's court the next day with a barrage of charges trumped up by the police. We never hear nothing about that case again. I myself had an incident a couple months ago as well, earlier this year, or earlier last year, with the very same police. I'm still waiting on the outcome before the police complaints board are waiting. Because I had to get all of that story as well. Our police need some fucking compassion. Me saying all of them bad. But the majority can be so overwhelmingly disgusting. The system is needs to be attacked. Full on. What is law in this life? Somebody explain it to me, please. Who is law in this land? Again, coming out of last year, they started to deport a bag of Nigerians. Nigeria, once you're from Africa, I don't know if it was the Ebola thing that disappeared. But nobody ain't talking about Ebola again. And all of that again was hot air. They started to put a certain set, certain set of measures in place for Ebola. Again, opportunity to thief. Because we got some Ebola suits. Because we were getting ready for Ebola. As if Ebola is a brand new baby and Trinidad is expecting. And the suits for the Ebola, of course, we... The taxpayer, 20 something thousand US, when online the very same suit was about a thousand US. So they say, well, it was 20,000 TT, which is the country. Bullshit. And conveniently forgetting that the Trinidad and Tobago women's football team was in Texas. When there was that instance of Ebola, and come back here safe, 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 and kick them all. No, man.
intention of that. What went on there? We too damn convenient. So explain to me law and due process. They start to deport all these Africans and saying out of Africa. So Ghanaians go in. Mind you, that certain companies, that security companies that have a bag of people that are out in front guarding and securing certain areas only using Nigerians. Nobody can question that. Right. But if you're deporting illegal immigrants, which I'm all for, then explain T and T the amount of fucking Chinese that in this country. All them Chinese, you quicker get a one ton in Chabonas than a roti, you know. Chinese restaurant. Punctuating every bar going up the stretch. True Central. Explain it to me. Explain it to me. How you just as a Chinese, you in immigrant, you just reach in a land. You don't even know no English. No speak any language. But you are cashing, don't open business, selling one ton. Chicken and dog is frying. Yeah. Frying normal, normal, normal. See how old ketchup cover, pepper. Matuk's pepper in Chinese restaurant. Normal in our silver tree. And the cashier can't speak English. Explain it to me, TNT. Cause Chinese association or the different kind of bribe. Just ask him. How is this possible? Because nobody deported the Chinese. And better than that, better fact, nobody is deporting the Venezuelans and the Colombians. That no, no, no English, but no plenty about your man, Toti. The other day, 72 of them went to court. 72 prostitutes went to court. Unprecedented. And some of them is repeat deportees. How the fuck are you a repeat de deportee? Oh, where did this happen? They're back in the country, but oh, passport, your passport here, you gone and come back. Normal, normal to walk in brothel. And nobody is locking up the people that had them here. They're not being held for questioning. These women are being used. But they like the using, eh, some of them. Because some of them come in, in quite quiet and applying for secretary, working in certain office, and next minute the man leaving the wife and the whole fucking family to go with these prostitutes. And yes, I call them prostitutes because if you are giving sexual services for money, you are prostituting yourself. You ain't a hoe, you're a hoe. End the talk. And it's no shame in your game. I personally, if I ain't no fault with you because as much as it's a buyer, it's a seller. Cause and effect. But just explain to me how come we ain't deported none of the Spanish. Fucky, fucky. And 2020 die all they know. They don't know English. They whining, whining, they learn to whine quick. Quick, fast and in a hurry. Some of them working so hard, I tell you the nanny need VAT number and registration. You can say where you want and drop, and drop down as if you, you, you don't know what I'm talking about. Did you not see them working in no grocery? You don't see them in the day. They heavily out in the night. No, it's no English. No English. And not one of them making the deportee list. Not one of them on a detention center. None. So explain to me the law. I would get in to the prostitutes because, you know, as a woman, you just feel a little hurt sometimes. But there are so many options. But then again, it's what man really want. The Bureau of Standards, as far as we prostitution concerned, and we prostitutes, the Bureau of Standards needs to get involved. Because we prostitutes need an overhaul. Or you cannot be selling looking so. That's why the competition so thick. I see some girls the other day. Ruddy boy, Shamak boy, Fiona. On that Robert Street.
coming down the road from Woodbrook. I tell myself, if you go Barbados and you pass around by the gas, right? When you get into Barbados and you down the back there by St. Michael's, up in the back, I tell you, even uh, across a rocky beach, I tell you, the prostitutes in the horse in Barbados know the place. They out there in lace and the hair do makeup. Do the nails do them girl and them looking real asshole nice ma? I tell you they stand up on the side of the stage beside the, the uh the, the, the road on the corner real asshole sweet. You tell yourself the models out there in Trinidad Yeah no is the greatest amount that catch assholes them girl and them slip back fucking dragon slip back and powder, the fascination with powder has gone through the years, has endured powder oh, all up fucking day, powder all behind your ear. Be, thank you. It had one that cannot be pockmarked on your foot. I swear it's bullet holes. But you can't be a vex. The girl and I'm a long time, you so call them clothes, home clothes. You and your fucking home clothes on the side of the road. And man... That looking like they have family pulling up for that. Ready and night we will go out there with the camera and just have to take picture and number plates and put them up. Yes, you buy pussy, but good God. You say we ain't go buy bad rotten meat. You go buy bad pussy. Look at the condition of them girl. And your cock is hard. I think some of them man and them go with the purpose race of peanut butter. Is anything? Yes, I digress a lot. But boiling out of it, and guess what? The very same Murray Street, the very same Robert Street is opposite a police station. That's up. What the police station in the heart of the Bacchanal? Crime is at all time high. They're robbing every fucking body. Everybody. Kes get robbed. You can sniff a dollar. I want less heat. When we have to tell him go away, no, you can't just say he's only Trini watching me. Oh God, come on. What less get rob? But I understand that Kes started to talk peace and love with the bandit and say, well, you know I'm all about love. I hear you get some gun, but hush your cunt. From that one here. If I get it rob, take your rob. <laughs> Man, who is this me? Is I just get in trouble for you with your stupid self? They're robbing anybody and robbing with them. It is sad and pathetic that these bitches and them don't want to work. Long time they used to say, teach a man to fish and you feed him for life. Suppose the man, they don't want fish. They don't like fish. They tell you, Frank, how many don't eat fish? They like fried chicken. They have real, real, real issues mopping floor in a fast food restaurant, but no issue. Breaking in your car or lifting through your window and climbing the country through that. For the year 2014, for the year, there's been a slaughter of the innocents. Unprecedented, never seen before in this land. Again, where's the law? As far as murder and detection is concerned, what is the success rate for getting these bitches Locked up and facing the hangman. We have people scrambling, wanting to live, love and work, and then we just have the leeches on the bouncy of the society. Really, really has some mixed priorities, TNT. Know why you're doing that? Bless. Coming out of the slapping of the man in the wheelchair, because I what they call him, Mr. Ram Charita. Coming out of the slapping, we have many crimes committed here. Besides the atrocity and the audacity of the two officers, because bold face, they ask bold face. They really didn't care about the ramifications of their actions because they didn't believe that there would be any ramifications for their actions. People only do what they believe they can get away with. They never thought they would have reached this far. So again, thank God for social media. So we even have further to go because now there's a crime that his family has abandoned him. I 
know that Mr. Ramchari you can't, don't have no body. You ain't, you have no body. Where was he living before? What, what, what is his last known address? Where are the social workers? Because there's also the crime of abandonment. He must have somewhere to be. Must have people to claim him. And even if they don't want to claim him, then they, he needs to get out of the hospital and into a hostel or a home to be taken care of as a citizen of this land. A oh, citizen of this wealthy land. Many crimes. Many crimes coming out of that one incident. And it is sad that all are not being addressed.